Hi guys, so I wanted to just make a quick video on setting up your broker account, which is the second phase in the process of getting set up for your trading. So um, this is the broker I use. I did a lot of research in terms of the spreads that the different brokers have, uh, the leverage that's available, particularly if you're in UK based markets, the leverage rules are absolutely ridiculous for UK based traders now. And so I wanted a trader where my money was protected. So it was a regulated broker, but I still had good leverage. And this broker came up trumps because it's actually regulated, but it's regulated in Australia. So it gets sidestepped from the usual rules of UK leverage. So the only thing I would say is I believe that this broker is only available to um, people outside of the US. There is another broker that I would suggest, and I'll include a video on that one as well. The links for both these brokers will be underneath the videos, but this is the one that I would suggest for UK based people. So you come to the homepage here, and what you wanna do is click start trading. Now, if you are interested in opening a demo account, you can click the try a free demo button instead. But what I would do is I would actually open a live account in here and then open a demo account within that account. And I'll show you how to do that. So in order to open a live trading account with this particular company, you need a minimum of $200. Once you're logged in there and you've got that set up, you can actually have the um, live account and then multiple accounts within there. So you can include demo accounts in there, etc. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, the first step is to fill in the initial form here. So this bit's obviously fairly straightforward. You're filling in your name, email address, phone number, etc. And then you're just going to click the next button there at the bottom. So that's fairly straightforward. What will then happen is if you've gone with a demo account, it will take you straight to your account overview page. If you have gone in with a live account, it will ask you to deposit. Now, one of my favorite things about this broker is that the deposit and the withdrawal are so simple. So I've had brokers in the past that have been really good brokers, but absolutely a nightmare to get money in and out of. And so with that in mind, this is an absolutely fantastic broker because you can pay with a debit card. It's in there within two minutes. You can withdraw. It's in there the next day. You know, it's a really quick and easy and they have so many account funding options. So if you want to use um, things like Bitcoin, you can do that. But it's got so many, so many features. You can even use PayPal, which is obviously fantastic. So the next step would be to fund. And basically, it's just a case of funding with your debit card and it will automatically put it into the live trading account that you've opened. Like I say, if you have gone for the demo option, it will take you straight to your account. So I want to show you what inside the account looks like. So I'm just going to log in to one of the accounts so you can see inside. So this is inside one of my brokerage accounts and I want to just show you kind of how everything works in here. So under MT4 accounts, you'll see all of your MT4 listings. I have blurred these out obviously because it's personal data. Now they also do two other kinds of platforms. So they've got C Trader and MT5. So if you want to create another MT4 account, you would just click open new account here. If you want to click a C Trader account, you would click open new account here. And then further down the page, you've got the place to open the MT5 accounts as well. At the bottom underneath that, you can see you've got the option to open all of these accounts in demo as well. And again, you would just click the open demo account button. So it's really, really simple to use, guys. Now, the tab you're interested in more than anything is the transfers tab. So you deposit funds. That is one way to deposit funds into any of your accounts. So you just fill in the form and select the account that you want to deposit into. The other way to do that would be to come over to this green section here and choose the way you want to deposit. Now, that's a faster way to do it because each one of these is obviously aligned to a certain account. So you're not having to choose the account from the list. You've also got withdraw funds. Again, super simple. You would click withdraw funds and then it's going to give you the different options to withdraw from different accounts. So I'll just show you that. So you can obviously choose which account to withdraw from the trading account and where you want to withdraw to and you can withdraw to PayPal, your bank. It's so great because it's so flexible in terms of the different ways that you can withdraw. So what you may find is that at some point it asks you to upload your ID. So if you are trying to withdraw a big sum of money or if you're trying to deposit a big sum of money, it may ask you to upload ID at some point. So what you would do here is come to the profile and you'll see where it says upload documents here. And that would be the place where you would upload the photographs of your driving licenses or bank statements, etc. So it's fairly straightforward to use. Great broker, great, you know, it's the 
withdrawal and deposit process is so simple. The fact that it's regulated, you've got the good leverage and the low spreads as well. Really, really good broker. So this is definitely one that I would consider using. Okay, guys. So any questions, please do just ask and I'll speak to you very soon.